Your brain is copper and carbon. And Dr. Sebi said that. Your brain is copper and carbon. So you need copper for your brain to function and for your whole body to function. And Morley Robbins was talking about how we only need one milligram of iron in our body per day. The rest is supposed to be coming from copper. So think about this imbalance that we're having. We have no copper over here, and then we have all this iron and all this plastic over here. Well, this is gonna gunk us all up, just like those pipes. It's gonna block up those pipes, which what's it's gonna do to the body? It's gonna block up the pipes of the body or the electrical pathways of the body or the meridian lines that run up and down the entire body. So if you think about it, if you take the copper away, then now you're overloaded on iron. And iron doesn't conduct too well, but if we're conductive crystals, if you take out all the copper, you have no more conductivity. Then you start having people having inflammation, their lymphatic system's all messed up, you know, they can't think, their stomach's all messed up. You start seeing all these things and going, hmm, kind of makes sense because nothing is flowing. There's no energy that's flowing. It's all blocked up. How do you get copper into your body? You can look into liver. Liver is one of the highest sources of copper. You can also look into cashews with the skin. Another great source of copper. Or you could just drink from a copper cup too. You know, I mean, there's different ways.